Ransom Rest here with Forrester Products. As I mentioned before in our bumper, we're going to be doing a whole lot more hand loading this year and showing, ringing out the most accurate out of the rifles we possibly can. Interesting enough, we bumped elbows with Caleb in the last few years, or actually this year at Gunsight Academy. Ian Harrison came out, demoed one of our Mega 2s, and now Kelly Bashan of Top Shot. So there's three Top Shots yeah. all wrapped up this year, but um, Kelly's going to help go through the yeah. Forrester coaxial press, and then we may have Bob come in after and talk about some stuff too. Now what we're achieving here is we're going to be giving you our load data, we're going to be giving you the specifics. Ransom rest, don't pull the punches. It's real world testing, real world results, and we want you to follow along and duplicate what we're doing. So we want you to know this is the press we're using and how we're using it, and we want to introduce you to it right now. So you go ahead and tell Kelly and bring us up to speed on it. All right, so like I said, Kelly Bashan, nice to meet you. And this is Forster Coax Press. A lot of advantages over a standard press. I'll highlight a couple of those. So you got a big mechanical advantage okay, on the arm. And you can see the extra leverage you get right here. Okay. Uh, a lot different than yep. some of the other presses where your handle's down below. Uh, and you can even you can even use a shorter handle because it has so much leverage. You don't even need this with the ones. Uh, but then as you're loading, these jaws squeeze the case and it allows it a degree of freedom to move okay, side so to side. And then uh, similar but a little bit different, the die sits in kind of a channel yep. and it has a degree of freedom to move forward and back. And what that allows is it allows that while you're sizing the case, it's self-aligned, it's concentric. You're not gonna squish the case to one side, so to speak. And then similarly, when you're seating the bullet, you end up with more concentric rounds, where everything just kind of self-aligns. So the, the Forster Co Express, if, if you're making the most accurate ammo, you gotta use this, that's just what it is. I was on the US rifle team for years, we all use the Forster Co Express. And that's our focus, is the most accurate ammo you could possibly make. You're gonna get it way better with a single stage coax press than this, than a progressive or otherwise. Now, you mentioned years ago, Chuck Ransom had invented a progressive rest. But we're looking to ring out all that accuracy, and we have decided to go ahead and up our year this year and show the coaxial Forrester product rest. And when we're doing ammo loads all the year long and into 2025, all 2024, 2025, we're going to show you the load data, the bullets, the powder. This is the machine we're using. We're going to be using uh, Forrester case trimmers, Forrester coax press, and because we're really into 50 BMG, we're not going to do it this year, but what do you got going over here? So yeah, this is new this year, the Forrester coax XL. All the same benefits, but in a grande size. Grande for that 50 BMG, the higher calibers as you mentioned. What yeah, so you can do, say, your 375 shy tacks, all the, the long action, large calibers that folks are shooting in the ELR game. Yeah. So those are all going to work in here. Uh, they're going to use, uh, this has an adapter ring in it right now for smaller dies, but of course you can fit uh, the larger size dies in here just fine. Oh, and same, same benefits. Uh, like I said, so the case is going to free float left and right, and then the die will free float forward and back. Same concentricity benefit, same leverage benefit, which you really need when you're sizing 50 BMG. And this thing is robust. Look at this. this is, that's it's awesome. Work. And the concentricity is super important, yes. and that's what made us gravitate over to Forrester Products, not only because it was recommended by Rand Randy Brimson and a lot of people in the industry uh, for just ringing the best accuracy out. Uh, we were listening to a reloading podcast and in fact mentioned just save the whining and crying, get yourself a case trimmer from Forrester Products and a Coax Press. Here's our case trimmer. Let's talk about that for a minute. Sure, so this is a classic case trimmer. The design hasn't changed, it's, it's been the same. The big thing here is this has the three-in-one trimmer, cutter, and chamfer, chamfer, deeper, does all of it at the same time. But the, the big deal here is the collet, you put the brass in on the end, and you trim it. Yeah, that makes it short, sweet, no power needed. He's Very king. nice, look at that, wow. Very nice. Then you get your calipers out, measure the size, chamfered the ODID. Yeah, three yep. in one. So it yep. trims, chamfers, divers. That's gorgeous. Yep. So you also have the power case trimmer that mounts to a drill press, yep. manual mill, something That's like correct. that. We'll be using that as well. 
All right, so this is a, it's a real simple product, a really helpful product, it's a neck tension gauge. So this one right here, for example, is for three weight, and it's got precision ground uh, diameters here increasing as you go up, 304, 305, 306, 307. And so you can set this and, and determine how, how tight you want that bullet to be gripped by the brass, right? On your so, yeah, so how far are you expanding the brass and then how much tension are you getting? And you can get it very consistently by doing this, by measuring each piece. Yep. You size it. We picked up a set of these. It's kind of like a, a go gauge for a pin size all the way up. So this is just a quick way. They're good to go. Wear resistant and ground. Yep. Yeah. Great quick way to measure that neck tension. Yes. Th that one was for a 224. Yep. Yeah. And, and this is a lot harder than brass, right? Yeah. See, right. So these are not going to wear out. No. Uh, just you know, in, in easy use from shoving it in brass. No. So these will last a lifetime. Yeah. It's a great product. Uh, quick, easy to use. Has a nice case. Comes as a kit. Yep. So we picked up the kit as well. It's a great measuring tool when you're designing custom ammo, precision ammo. Consistency is the key. Yep. If you're not testing, you're guessing. This is your testing right here. Yes. Got to know your neck tension. Got to keep concentricity on your bullet. Got to have good tight powder measure, at least especially for long distance. Uh, good primers. Yeah. You know, uh, overall length, cartridge overall length is critical. Proper chamfer so you're not sharing the bullet when you press yeah, it in. Absolutely. All those steps have to be in here too. So even if we share the data and we give you all the secret formulas, we're not about secret formulas. So let's just say we give you the formulas. If you don't follow those simple steps, you're going to have not so good, accurate rounds. So yeah. that's what we're here. That's why we're here with Four Star Products, getting the tools needed. The DIY, Ransom Rest is all about the DIY. And so getting the tools needed to do the job. Great. So, Kelly Bashan, I really enjoyed bumping elbows with you today. Yeah. It's, yeah, it's just kind of a starstruck to stand here next to you. And you did great on Top Shot. And I love watching the two seasons, was it not? Yeah. yeah. So I was on the first season, and then they had me back for All Stars. It yeah. was a lot of fun. Yeah. It's, it's awesome. And, I can't believe you're a uh, sales rep and working with Forrester products. And you do other stuff as well. Yeah, so I'm here with their pro staff. Uh, I got a regular day job like a lot of people, yeah. uh, but I have a lot of fun with Forrester. I, I really refer to them as a family rather than a business relationship. Uh, Forrester uh, really products is a family business. It's just like Ransom Rest. And yeah. That's why we're dealing with you guys, and, and that's awesome, man. Yeah. You absolutely. rock. Thanks man. for coming by. Absolutely. Okay, we're with Vince. We're going to go over some headspace gauges. They sell a nice headspace gauge kit, and uh, he's going to tell us a little bit about it. So these are our 65 Creedmoor Go and No Go gauges. All our gauges are made in accordance with SAMI dimension. The Go is going to be to the SAMI min. Our No Go gauge is actually going to be a mid-range gauge, so it's about four thousandths up from the, the Go. And then our field gauge is about a thousandths under SAMI max. There you so, go. And all those are actually on your website for all the different calibers as well. Yeah, yeah. On our yeah. website, we have the calibers we manufacture. Yeah, 308, for. there's 300, there's. Yeah, yeah I, I've seen it. The ODs are ground within two tenths, cone angles ground, and then the, the back of the gauge, the GOES have, make sure I get this right, a uh, plus three tenths tolerance, and no GO in the field have minus three tenths tolerance. And we're all about that testing and not guessing, and those kind of interested me when I saw them come up. So I just wanted to touch base on that. That kind of even goes into your datum dial a little bit. I was curious about that. Yeah, yeah. So it's a very handy tool. Attaches onto any I have any not caliper. actually got one yet, okay. and that's my next purchase. Is that datum dial there? Yeah. So you need to sell it to me. <laughs> All right. Yeah. It's nice. It doesn't require any bushings. So the black dial is going to be your bullet comparator five different datum holes on it. Again, just thumb screw onto the caliper. Mark it to the jaw. Zero it on a fired case. Nice. And then size a case. Size a case to check the, the head space movement, the shoulder, the shoulder bump back. This one in particular has been moved back five and a half thousand. So typically we like to stay at least, see at least two thousand shoulder movement. Um, I know people can get pretty pretty heated and passionate about what's the best. Um, it's more of a personal preference or even kind of goes rifle by rifle and that's Absolutely. which likes it. And then using the same body, we manufacture different bullet comparator dials. So there's two different bullet comparator dials, each with five different bullet diameters to check 
case case base to O drive length. So if we're talking about consistent bullet seating depth, we want to be measuring from the O drive Absolutely. rather than base to bullet tips. So Absolutely. That's definitely a very important inspection method. One yeah. uh, If you're measuring base to tip, you will definitely see variants in your, in your bullet seat. That O drive. Yeah. So again, it's the same. This thumb screw on it. Yeah, lock it down, lock it on the jaw. Yeah. And you zero zero it on the on the bullet die. Bullet die itself. There you go. Yeah. And that measures right to the O drive and zero in on that. Yes. Yeah. Well, that is the next set we're actually getting from them. And uh, like the looks of that datum dial, the easy use of it. Use the caliper of your choice. You can use the digital or dial. Real user friendly. Just rotates here. It's detent. Is it? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Just rotates to the case you need. Very nice. Awesome, Vince. Thank you, sir. Yeah. Thank you for that quick demo. And this will be what we'll be using on our channel as well, as we'll be measuring those, doing our rifle testing, and as we move forward, we'll give you that information. Thank you, Bob. Thank you. Thank you.